This is a Clark University podcast. So my name is Florent Morin. I'm from the Pixel Hunt, a tiny video game studio based in Paris, France. In your own words, could you tell me what you think makes a good video game? Ah, it's a very good question because uh, you, you probably have a thousand answers if you ask it a thousand times. But for me, a good video game is a video game you will continue to think about years after you finished it. Ed Gregg, a student at Clark's Becker School of Design and Technology, was among the tens of thousands who converged on the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center for the PAX East Gaming Convention. The event is a celebration of gaming in all its forms and features an expo hall filled with the best publishers and studios, new game demos, and tournaments. This is Ed Gregg of Clark University. Uh, we are at PAX East Day 2. PAX East is so cool because they have Indie Alley, which is where you get to see all these cool indie games. They have these big games like the one I'm playing right now, which are super, super duper polished. Could you state your name, the studio you work for, and what you did on the game? My name is uh, Jesse Anigid. I'm one of the programmers for Squish. Could you tell me, in your opinion, what makes a good video game? Oh, wow. I mean, uh, that's a hard question. I feel like it's different for uh, everyone because not everyone's going to think the same game is enjoyable. Um, uh, what I think makes Squish really enjoyable is the fact that it's super easy to get into, easy to pick up, hard to master. I think that's uh, one of the, at least the main things that I look for in video games. Could you also tell us how you broke into the video game industry? Squish started off as a student project. It was one of the senior thesis for UC Santa Cruz. And a year later, I graduated and I was looking for a job and they just sent me, or they just sent like a Discord message in an alumni channel. So they said they were looking for a programmer. So I was like, I'm just gonna try my luck. And then thankfully they chose me. So <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your time, man. That was Jesse of PM Studios uh, who worked on the game Squish. A four player brawl style game, Tetris. Or you could like squish your friends. Really cool, one of the coolest games I played yesterday, personally. As the largest gaming convention on the East Coast, PAX is an opportunity for students to connect with experts in the field and get feedback on the games they're designing in class. I'm Melissa Hansen, a creative producer in Clark's communications office, and this is Challenge Change. So my name is Ezra Cove. Uh, my job is, uh, is a professor of practice at Clark in the interactive media program. I teach 3D game art. And on the side, I've just started uh, working on a game with a Boston area game developer. What makes a good video game for you? So I play everything from pretty slick uh, AAA games to pretty weird sort of small indie games and everything in between. I'm ignorant of like the entire Nintendo series, Xboxes, PlayStation. That's all stuff I've switched. I've never done any of that stuff. So I'm a PC gamer, so I've never gotten used to a controller. So for me, first off, it's got to play well on, on, on a PC. <laughs> We're back over at the PAX Rising Showcase. I just played this really cool arena shooter, Orbitals. My name's Nick Schultz, the studio's Alleyway Games, and I'm the creative director of Orbitals. In your own words, um, what would you consider a good video game? Oh, geez, that's a question. I like to sink my teeth into these kind of like party couch co-op games. That's sort of what got us here with Orbitals. How did you break into the game industry yourself? I started in kind of a game adjacent business where we were doing merchandise for, for video games. We did like 3D printing. Um, kind of learned a lot about both like working within the game engines and working with art assets from these big AAA companies. Um, after that, just I mean, I've always had the itch to do it. You know, it was just I needed like the kick in the butt to get started. Thank you so much for your time, man. Hi, so honored to be here. My name is Crystal. I am a community coordinator at Discord. Basically, I help connect developers and product managers to Discord community. And I do this by bringing new features that we are about to launch, but they're still in beta. I bring them to different communities, and then I will take their feedback and bring it to the developers. Do you play a lot of games yourself, Crystal? Um, to be honest, I don't play any like hardcore games. Um, I do play... This is almost embarrassing, like Fun Run a lot. <laughs> fun Run's my favorite. Every night I have to play like at least 10 games of Fun Run 3. Um, I play Smash, Smash and Mario Kart, but nothing too crazy. Okay, important question. Who do you main in Smash? I main in Rob. <laughs> 
what do you think makes a, a good video game for you? I would say a good video game is has a really easy onboarding process because you know games are really all the like the best games are really complicated. Um, but at least specific to the games that we're building on Discord, um, they're very like casual games that you play with your friends while you're just catching up or talking. Stuff like similar to Scriblio and, and those sorts of games. It needs to have a very simple process of like this is how you play and this is how I'm going to play it because you want to just get them quickly hooked. I am over at the Thunderful Pavilion right now. I just played Paper Cup Mansion, which is a really cool roguelike puzzle game. I am Gabriel and I work with Space Laser Studio. I don't really have a position. I'm an indie developer and as an indie developer, you sometimes have to do a lot of things. I'm not a big fan of mainstream video games. I want a game that is hard. It doesn't have to be one of these games where you follow the tutorial and you're told what to do, exactly what to do, because I want to find out stuff, you know? So I just played The Last Worker over at the wire display. I'm Ryan Bousfield. Uh, I run the company Wolf and Woods. And I'm uh, Jörg Tittle, and I'm the writer and director of the game. Really good. I think my favorite game at PAX so far. Very excited for this. Uh, how did this How did this idea come around? Where, where was the start? My wife and I went into a supermarket in uh, a little local in London, and, uh, and suddenly overnight, literally overnight, uh, all the employees that we all knew by name, and it was kind of like a village feel to us, uh, had all been replaced by these like checkout self checkout tills. And I realized, you know, we've re entered this world where we have to assist the robots rather than the other way around. Um, and so that was the, the seed of the idea. And as it's called The Last Work, I wanted the people to also uh, relate to the problem matter at hand. And, and the best way to do it is to get them involved physically and mentally and psychologically, and games are the best medium for it. And long story short, that was the beginning of it. Great, that's, that's, that's so cool to hear. That was The Last Worker. Um, great game, check it out. Coming out soon, fall, hopefully. A good game for me is something that captivates uh, the audience and something that captivates the people that play it. Uh, there's games that I, I've played a ton of that maybe not everybody has heard of or played that I really like because, you know, they, they meant something to me. And I think that's maybe just a developer's goal in the end to just, like, make their game mean something for somebody. You know, it's a game that they made and for them to touch somebody, for them to be able to play it and buy it and, you know, really enjoy it and see the vision that they tried to put into it is really cool and I hope to accomplish that one day with hopefully something that I make. Ed Bragg is a rising senior majoring in interactive media, game design, and development. He plans to get his master's degree at Clark through the university's fifth year program. The undergraduate game design program at Clark's Becker School of Design and Technology is ranked number three in the world by the Princeton Review. To learn more, visit clarku.edu slash bsdt. Challenge Change is produced by Melissa Hansen and Andrew Hart for Clark University. Find other episodes wherever you listen to podcasts. One, two, three. Clark! <laughs>